to the entrepreneurial couple behind Nungu Diamonds, luxury is having had the example of parents who worked together in business. The opportunity to study design and law as a grounding and then the daring to launch their own enterprise. Hello, Insider SA. I am Ursula Pule. And I am Kiale Bokapule. We are the founders of Nungu Diamonds. Welcome to our home. Come in. We met in Mafiging. In Mafiging in 2008. Yeah. yeah. It was the week after your 21st birthday. So it's yeah. 15 years ago this year. Shucks. It's been a while. It's been quite a while. I was hiring models. And I mean, <laughs> look at you. You're not going to tell them that now. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to tell them because I was hiring models and at the time you were slightly embarrassed. still studying right? law. Yeah. Came in as a model for my fashion show at the time. Uh, and, I, I used um, to model. That well, is, it was, is, it was the, the one same. modeling gig you did, oh, yeah, the, sure. the one, and you caught a wife, so hey. Oh, <laughs> was fortunate. It was straight after graduation that Diamonds first caught Kiale Bocha's keen eye for business and seized his imagination. How we got into the diamond business, it started 2009. I came across a guy who was in the diamond business at the time. And he was in Johannesburg, I was all the way in Mafiki. This gentleman said to me, come join me for a year in 2011. It was almost like a mentorship program where I shadowed him for a year. In 2013, we started our own business. So basically, how the business started, a generous guy gave us an opportunity and taught us all we had to know. Yeah. 2017, that's when I joined the company to start the jewelry side of the business. So it was mainly diamonds for a couple of years and then moved on to jewelry. And ever since, we've been flying. While the Pules are very excited about the launch of their website, which educates clients and simplifies diamond buying, first prize is always a personal visit to their operation. Welcome to the Nungu Diamonds Consultation Space. This is where you get to sit down with us one-on-one -on -one and discuss whatever jewelry item you want to purchase, be it a ring, be it a lifestyle item. You know, it's exciting. You get to play with some diamonds and we want to invite you in. So Nungu means porcupine in Swahili. Why Swahili? It's one of the most spoken languages in the continent. And we wanted a name that resonates with the place where we find ourselves. So a porcupine is a small but resilient animal. And we are in a space where we have to be resilient because we deal with the lions and the elephants of the space. Yeah. So that's why Nungu. Being credited as one of the top black owned brands is very humbling because when we go to work every day, it's literally something that we enjoy. Yeah. We don't think too much about really more than our clients. So that's big for us. It's yeah. really big. And I think what the turning point must have been for us was definitely making Somizi and Mohales rings. Yeah. That opportunity led to South Africa knowing about what we do. Mm -hmm. And we were incredibly fortunate that South Africa fell in love with yeah. our process. Mm -hmm. The fact that we play in a space that doesn't have many people that look like us, many people identified with that. Mm. And it meant business and we've been growing ever since. So yeah. humbling, humbling. It's just the kind of proudly South African business which Capitex, Chandre Matlala and Esona Ndongeni love to learn from. So this visit was more in their capacity as friends. Today we're here to celebrate Esona's big 3-0. Um, this is her 30th birthday month and we want to do it in style, in luxe, and in a way that I really hope that she'll remember and take forward with her forever. Welcome to Nungu Diamonds. We're doing a nice gifting and we hear it's a birthday. So when is your birthday? I was born on the 21st of March, Human Rights Day, and of course, public holiday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have here is actually a cushion cut diamond. You just close your hand there for me. And then... Oh my goodness! You get to put it there. This is so exciting. <gasps> Beautiful. So what is the best thing about diamonds, as we know, diamonds are forever. And with a piece, it doesn't always have to be the same piece. So what you can do is always unset your diamonds. If you ever feel like you, you want to change with the times, with the trends, you can always unset your diamonds and put it in something different, put it in a ring, in a necklace. Yeah. What I have in my hand, actually, it is a infinity ring. So this is a nice ring also to complement any outfit, um, whether it's also day or night. 
So Mizi is the only other person in South Africa who has this necklace. Oh my goodness. Same necklace as Samka. Part of the elite. <laughs> Now this is what you call luxury. <laughs> I absolutely love the shape of this piece. I mean, it's like heart. It gives love. Mm -hmm. It gives relationships, yes. friendships, yes. boyfriends, husbands. I don't know. It's just like <laughs> sisterhood. Sisterhood. I love that. Love it. Then Esona saw what else was on offer. The sheer variety in this easy-to-wear lifestyle jewellery range wasn't going to make it easy picking a favourite. So, birthday girl, have you decided on anything? This was one of the hardest decisions I have ever had to make, but my eye kept going to that one pendant over there. Ah, lovely. I love it. It's so me. It's beautiful. And a diamond. And a diamond. Mm, mm. Girl's best friend. After me. After you, <laughs> so let's wrap it up. Um, how are we going to pay for it? But seeing that I'm being spoiled today, I am definitely passing on the payments off to my girl over here. <laughs> to me, well, a promise is a promise, so I will be having my friend on this for her birthday. This is why we're here. Well, banking with Capitec has afforded me this luxury in treating my friend to a girl's best friend. You know, I have been saving in my savings pocket for this for quite a while and that's been earning interest and then I transfer it to my credit card and then I get live better money so it's actually helping not just my friend live better but me as, you well. as well cash back ka ching ka ching boom <laughs> The real diamonds in this story are a couple who've taken this natural resource, used it to offer local talents a place to grow and to inspire more dreams. For me, the experience has been really amazing. It kind of took me back home to where I was playing dress up, you know, using my mom's clothes, you know, her jewelry, her heels and all of that. But then within this moment, it's a once in a lifetime experience, but I don't want to jinx it yet because I'm not married. So this is my first time, but many more to come. Many more so to come. It's not the last time that Nungu Diamonds are seeing myself and Chandra here. Yeah. Do you have a precious skill or business idea waiting to be discovered? Could you do with a little boost to help your talent or enterprise catch the light? If so, take the first step with your chance of winning a thousand rand cash prize towards your dream, courtesy of Capitec. Simply reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms using hashtag livebetterwithcapitec. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website.